Alright guys, in this video I want to talk to you about return values. So the first couple functions that we made, what they did is they either just printed something out immediately or they made like a simple calculation and printed out the answer real quick. However, there are certain times where we're going to want a function to do something like make a calculation and we're not going to want to print it out right then and there. What we're going to want to do is actually store the answer or the response so we can use it later in our program. So how would we um, take like uh, the answer or the result and save it in a variable to use later? Well for that we need something called a return statement and it returns of course a return value. So for this example what I want to do is I do this in all my uh, program tutorials. I'm going to show you guys a cool little function and it calculates the age of girls that you're allowed to date. So for example, I could not date a 13 year old. I can only date someone who is, you know, the appropriate age for me. I'm 27, so I don't know. It's like, is 20 an appropriate age? Is like 23? I know like 25 is. So there's actually a formula for this. I'm gonna be teaching you. So allowed dating age is what the name is. And of course the piece of information that it needs is my age. So after this, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be calculating the girl's age that I'm able to date, the limit. So the formula for this is whatever your age is, so my age, which would be 27 in my case, divide that by 2 and add 7. So in your head, take your age, divide it by 2 and add 7 that's the age of girls you're allowed to date no younger than that or it's uh, creepy. So of course this is the equation however we just don't want to print it out right now. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking this value and storing it in variable so that we can use it later on. So in order to do that we need a new keyword it's called a return and it says what do you want back from this calculation? What answer do you want back? Well in this case just the girl's age. So of course now we can use this as well just like we did before. So you know before and that's not what I wanted. We can call hold on a second. My ear is itching, my ear is itching. Now I itched it and I'm ready to move on. Okay. So we'll say that uh allow dating age is 27 because it takes your age. Now if we just run this program right here nothing prints out on the screen because this entire statement is equal to the return value. And what is it? I don't know. So now that this is equal to some number of a girl's age what I want to do is take that and store in a variable. So Bucky's limit is equal to some number now. So now I can do something like print Bucky can date um I'll just do this. Date girls Bucky's limits or older. So now I can print this bad boy out and check it out. So my limit is I can date girls that are twenty and a half or older. So hopefully I get one that's 20 and a half because you know then she can like drive me around bars and she can't even drink. So that was a pretty selfish thing to say. You have to edit that out. But seriously, if there are any girls are out there, give me a call. All right. <clears throat> Anyways, moving on. So say that we wanted to do this for someone else. Well, we... okay, that was like the longest delay between copying and pasting. All right. So say that we wanted to do it for my friend and my friend is 49 years old. I actually don't have a friend who's 49 years old. I actually don't have any friends at all. <laughs> all right, and his name is Creepy Joe. Yeah, I got a friend named Creepy Joe. Who freaking cares? So if we take this, copy and paste it as well, save us some time. So Creepy Joe Let's see what his limit is. All right, so my limit 
and anyone who's 27 out there do not date girls younger than 20 and a half and if you're 49 years old your limit would be 31 and a half so again not only in this tutorial did we learn about return values but we also learned an awesome equation so you can figure out okay how young of a girl can I date because I know all you guys out there were wondering it so uh, actually run this calculation and tell me your limit on the forum because I'm actually quite interested to know and also another cool thing that you can do and if anyone wants to do this for like a mini forum challenge um, go through a list of uh, we'll say ages like 15 to 60 and print the person's age the dude's age and their limit right next to each other side by side one row at a time so that would be a pretty cool table so if anyone wants to do that post the code on my forum but for now thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I will see you later